Hello guy welcome back to my channel YouTube speaking news. Today I have a good news for share to everyone. It's been a few years since the Supra rejoined the Toyota lineup after a long hiatus. But despite our growing familiarity, the 2022 Supra remains one of our favorite sports cars. Although it was developed and is built alongside the BMW Z4 convertible. The Supra Coupe offers a personality that's unique from its Bavarian brother, even though the two cars share the same powertrains. The latter include two turbocharged engines, a standard 255 HP 2.0 liter 4 cylinder, and an optional 382 HP 3.0 liter inline 6. Both feed the rear wheels via a snappy 8 speed automatic transmission. The Toyota's cabin is snug and surprisingly premium, largely because it pulls from the BMW parts bin. The 2022 Supra also packs plenty of infotainment features and safety tech, too. Toyota has introduced a new limited edition trim for 2022 called A91CF, which stands for carbon fiber. Only 600 will be built and all of them come with a carbon fiber body kit, a rear spoiler, matte black 19-inch wheels, and red and black interior upholstery. The A91CF edition is offered in three exterior colors, Phantom, Matte Gray, Absolute Zero White, and Nitro Yellow. Elsewhere, the Supra gains standard heated seats in 3.0 models, a new red interior scheme for the 3.0 Premium, and full-screen Apple CarPlay for those equipped with the optional JBL stereo system. Although there's little driving emotion lost with the 4-cylinder Supra 2.0, we think the zippier acceleration of the 6-cylinder 3.0 is worth the added cost for most buyers. We've skipped the driver assist package, which adds adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and lane keeping assist that's more annoying than useful. Every Supra comes with a one year membership to the National Auto Sport Association and a complimentary day at a high performance driving event. The money saved by not purchasing the driver's assist package can be spent on additional track time and spare tires. All Supra models come with an 8-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive. At the test track, our long-term 2020 Supra 3.0 laid down some seriously impressive acceleration numbers. Hitting 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and 100 miles per hour in 9.5 ticks. That puts it in the big leagues against the Chevy Camaro, the Porsche Cayman GTS, and the BMW M2 competition. In fact, it's even quicker than the vaunted fourth-generation Supra that was powered by a sequentially turbocharged inline 6 with 320 horsepower. It's a shame that a manual transmission is not available. But hope isn't completely lost. It's rumored that the Supra will gain a stick later in its production run. Despite its performance potential, the Supra's suspension is forgiving enough to drive daily. Its steering is accurate, nicely weighted, and direct, which enhances its fun-to-drive personality. The lower-priced four-cylinder model delivered a brisk 4.7-second 60 mph run at our test track. That's quicker than the Supra's German cousin, the BMW Z4, which managed a 5.0 second 60 mph time. The most efficient Supra is the one with the turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, which earns EPA ratings of 25 mpg city and 32 highway. The more powerful Supra 3. Zero's ratings are still pretty good at 22 mpg city and 30 highway. That's more efficient than the Camaro, the Cayman GTS, and the M2. On our 75 mph highway fuel economy test route, the six-cylinder Supra exceeded its highway rating by delivering 34 mpg. With the Turbo 4, the Supra delivered a stellar 38 mpg. For more information about the Supra's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website.
The driver-focused cockpit is tight, and although the double bubble roof provides some additional headroom, the tallest drivers will feel pinched. Cargo space is similarly cramped. But the cargo area, accessed via a hatchback, is roomy enough for a couple of carry-on suitcases or about a week's worth of groceries for two. In our testing, we managed to fit four carry-on suitcases behind the rear seats. Much of the Toyota's interior is shared with the Z4. So those familiar with BMW switchgear and infotainment controls will feel right at home. Speaking of infotainment, the Supra's central display is an 8.8-inch unit with a very lightly reskinned version of BMW's latest iDrive interface. A digital gauge display, which actually boasts a distinct design compared with the Bimmer, is standard across the range. Navigation and Apple CarPlay capability are both available. But Android Auto isn't offered. A 12-speaker JBL audio system is optional. But we expect the standard 10-speaker audio system will be enough for most buyers considering the size of the Supra's interior. Toyota offers a host of driver assistance features as standard across the Supra lineup, including automated emergency braking. Additional features such as adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring can be added via the optional drivers. Assist Package For more information about the Supra's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS websites. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for receiving the news that you see first. Goodbye see you at the next video.